Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video and happy new year. I'm hoping you're all stepping back on court for another year of tennis. Now if you're anything like me and haven't played over the Christmas period, you might find yourself a little bit rusty when stepping back on court. And if you are, check out my last video that focused on improving your timing because that will really help you get back to tennis and get rid of that rust very quickly. Now for today's video, we are gonna focus all about power and in particular power on your forehand or your backhand. Now I get a lot of lessons come to me asking how can I make my forehand bigger or how can I make my ground strokes more powerful? So in today's video, I'm gonna give you a few tips on how power is generated for you to go away and practice and hopefully that will give you bigger ground strokes. Now, before we get into how our body creates the power, it's really important to note that we need to get into the right position um, for the shot. This is the most important thing in tennis is your positioning and your footwork. Faster your feet and the earlier you can prepare, like what we mentioned in the last video, then we can get into the right position to make contact with the ball in front of us. Now, if the ball is in front of me, I'm able to transfer my weight through towards the ball and therefore I'm more likely to get more power onto my shot. If I'm just too close to the ball, too far away from the ball or not in the right place for my contact point, naturally that's going to have a mass effect on how much power I'm able to generate. So for example, if I'm too close to the ball and I'm therefore having to adjust my body to get out of the way to create space for my contact point, you can already see that my body is off balance and going backwards. And therefore my body is working against my arm because I want my racket to go forwards to send the ball over to the other side of the court and to generate power. But if my body is going away from me, I'm gonna lose power. It isolates my arm from the rest of my body. So therefore the only thing generating power is my arm as opposed to my whole body. So that's why positioning is really key because if you are in the best position, if you are behind the bounce and you're able to contact the ball in front of you, therefore you are now able to transfer your weight through the ball and therefore get effortless power. Now the first thing to um, increase your power in your ground strokes um, and even on your serve is something you can do quite easily and that is all about how tight you hold the grip. Now, a lot of um, intermediate players that come to me for lessons, um, they grip the racket quite tight and therefore the racket isn't able to travel through the air as quickly as if you were gripping loose. So I want you to think about um, if, if 10 was your gripping your racket as hard as possible and zero is your letting go. Um, really with your ground strokes and your serve, you should be sitting at a three or four out of 10 in terms of how hard you grip the racket. Um, by doing this, this will enable more racket head speed during your swing. So you can see just how relaxed my arm is and you can hear the difference. I get a much bigger whoosh sound as opposed to when I grip tightly. When you are relaxed with your wrist, what happens is the racket gets left behind in your swing. Can you see my wrist opens up because it's loose? And therefore, as I'm about to make contact with the ball, my wrist subtly snaps. Now I'm not doing that uh, consciously, I'm doing that through being relaxed. And that wrist snap is what gives me more spin and power on the ball and increases the racket head speed through contact. So the more relaxed you are, the more racket lag you get in your swing and therefore the quicker the racket head speed due to that snap in your wrist as it comes through the ball. So we've talked about being more relaxed and it seems counterintuitive um, because the the misconception that a lot of players make when wanting to increase power is to muscle the ball so when players muscle the ball what happens is different sections of their body work in different ways so it might be that they're trying to muscle the ball with their arm and their their upper body when actually their legs aren't working together with it now the key to the kinetic chain and the key to more power is getting your whole body to work in the same direction and for the same purpose. Now, that requires my legs, my hip, my torso, and my arm and wrist to be working together. When I'm in the right position, I then want to load with my legs um, to create energy from the ground. And then that will initiate my hip, my torso to rotate to bring the racket 
arm and wrist through the ball. Notice as I'm doing this how the weight is transferring from my back leg through to my front leg and therefore I'm going forwards through the ball and through towards where I want the ball to go as well. So the first thing would be to get into the correct position for the ball. If you prepare early and you have quick footwork, um, like we discussed in our last video, you'd be in the correct position for the ball. Now, if you're in the correct position, you are then able to transfer your weight using your kinetic chain through impact. Um, so we spoke about how energy um, comes from the larger muscles in your body. And if we have our body working together and all going through the contact of the ball, then you are able to create effortless power, um, as opposed to muscling it with your smaller sections of your body, such as your arm. And finally, we spoke about if your grip is relaxed in your racket, um, you are able to create more racket head speed because the racket is looser um, and able to move quicker through the air. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you can put into practice some of those elements um, and therefore give you more powerful ground strokes um, and hopefully win you more points, whether that's more winners or more forced errors. If you haven't already, check out my last video, which was all on timing. Um, please like and comment below. Um, let me know what you want um, me to talk about and uh, help you improve, um, as that'd be really good to um, give me some ideas on some videos to make uh, this year. Um, I'm hoping to make a few videos on my um, tournament progress. Uh, I've got some tournaments coming up that I'm hoping to film some matches if my opponents allow. Um, so you've got that to look forward to and I want to keep up these coaching videos too as little tips for you to improve um, on your tennis. So please like, subscribe, um, comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!